Hey everyone, don't I look festive today? I was going to put a present bow on top of my head because I couldn't find my hot pink Santa hat that I've worn the last two years in my holiday gift guide videos and I was so sad that I couldn't find it this morning. So I was just going to put a present bow on top of my head, but I kind of tried to put it on there and it looked like really weird. Pinecone, stop scratching up the carpet. I see you giving me your angel eyes, your I'm not scratching up the carpet eyes. Your, I don't know why that carpet's not attached to the floor anymore, but it wasn't me eyes. He's just looking at me like, what? I didn't do it. I didn't break your mug. You didn't see me do it. You have no proof. You don't know my laugh. Maybe he'll let me put the present bow on top of his head. What? Ooh. Okay. No, no attacking, no attacking. Adorable kittens and festive bows aside, today I have my holiday gift guide video for this year. And I did it a little bit different this year than I did the last two years. The last two years, I basically just showed you guys gift items that I would like to receive that were all kind of beauty related. This year I've broken it up into categories according to who you're giving the gift to, to make it a little bit more um, all encompassing of lots of different personalities and not just beauty lovers. That way, no matter who you're shopping for, hopefully you can find a good gift idea with this video. So the first gift is for the bookworms in your life. I am a huge reader and I picked out two trilogies that are my favorite trilogies of the moment right now that I think would make great gifts. The first one is for the Twilight fan, the super romantic, girly, kind of teen book loving girl, and it is the Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy. The first one is Shiver, the second one is Linger, and the third one is Forever. I've only read Shiver so far, I'm actually not even done with it yet, but I really, really like it and I can already tell I'm going to like the whole trilogy. So this is definitely a good book set that I would recommend as a gift to someone. Um, obviously you don't have to buy all three books if it's not in your budget, you can just do one. But I've received some of the best books I've ever read in my life through Christmas presents. Um, my aunt and uncle, way, way, way back, like way back before it was even popular mainstream, I think I was only in like fourth grade, the first book had just come out. They gave me the very first Harry Potter book. It became like my favorite book series of my childhood. So books definitely can make a really great gift and it's something where if the person really falls in love with the book and it's a book they wanna keep for a long time, they'll always remember you're the person that gave it to them. I always remember that my aunts and uncles the one that gave me my first Harry Potter book. If they're bookworms, but they're not this style book, they are not Twilight fans, they're not girly, or maybe they're not girls. Maybe you're trying to get like a book trilogy for a boy. Another trilogy that I love that would be great for both boys and girls is the Maze Runner trilogy. It starts with the Maze Runner, then the Scorch Trials, and then the Death Cure. And I love this trilogy as well. On my second channel, Elle's Glitter Gossip, I have glitterchers on both of the, um, well I have glitterchers on this and I have a haul on this but I haven't reviewed it yet but definitely if you want to know something about this series go check out my Maze Runner literature it was one of the best books I've read this year it was so good so these are my two favorite book series at the moment and I think that they would make great gifts for the fashionistas on your list I found some great gifts this year for other people in my life by going to eatsy.com which is this website where like lots of different sellers can come on there if they make homemade things if they like make their own crafts and then sell them. I recently bought a French um, cigar box looking purse that's just gonna be a decorative item for my bedroom and it was really inexpensive and it's so cute. It's actually not in yet or I would totally show it as an example but I'll insert a picture like right here so you can see what it looks like. But it's one of a kind, a lot of things on Etsy are one of a kind so if you just go on there they have like tens of thousands of things for sale. Search for anything. You can put in like shabby chic room decor or jewelry or coffee mugs or anything and find like really unique gifts that I think will stand out to someone who's used to getting gifts from like the same places over and over, especially if you live in a small town. And they're not expensive because they're homemade and it's kind of like supporting like businesses from home like small businesses. I just like to support it especially during the holiday season so that's always great. Another item for a fashionista is something from Jewel Mint. Now I just picked this up recently and I think it's so pretty. It's this big ring and it looks like this and it has jewels like all on the side as well and it's like light pink. It's so girly and it looks kind of like a modern take on a vintage piece which is why I like it and why I was drawn to it and it's double layered so underneath it kind of has like more um, like more texture. It has like so many different layers 
and then it has like stones all the way around the middle stone and I just thought it was really pretty so I got it I like big rings you guys know I wear them in my videos all the time and I saw this on there and I just had to have it they have really cool things on there it's like jewelry and if you sign up for it you get like certain picks um, hand picks for you every month according to your analytics I've done several videos on it but um, I actually have really cool promo codes for you guys. I have 70% off your first item for like new customers and 10% off existing customers for one piece. Um, so if you wanted to go on there and just get a gift for someone, you can use those promo codes. I'll have them in the information box below the video and they're good until December 15th. For the person on your list that likes to pamper themselves, I have three gifts that are tea centered and they're gifts that I personally would love to receive. And I've never received a gift like this from anyone in my life. And so I think they're pretty unique. You don't really think to give someone tea. But I think for the right person on your list, it would be the most perfect gift you could give them. So start off with a cute coffee mug. This is from Glitzy Glam and it's just a really festive, I thought it'd be cute for the video because it matches me. It's red and green and it's Christmassy and it has a little reindeer on it. And then along with it, give them some tea. The example I have is from Tia Vana, which is my favorite tea company. And this is the Zocca Latte Spice. And I actually have a whole video on Tiavana teas called Healthy Fall Teas. So if you want to go watch that video, I describe several of their teas and talk about what my favorite ones are. But pick a tea, get a cute coffee mug, and I think that would be such a cute gift. You don't have to do Tiavana, obviously. You could just go to your grocery store and pick like a cool, something different than just a basic black tea. I would do like a chai tea or a sleepy time tea or something with a cute mug it would be such a cute gift. Another thing that I got from Tiavana that I'm so excited because I lost mine in the move and I really needed another one is called the Perfect Tea Maker. And this would make a great gift along with your tea and your coffee mug if you wanted to go a little bit more extravagant with the present. This is great because if you're making loose tea, a lot of times loose tea is not the easiest thing to make if you're a beginner and you don't really know what you're doing. So this tea maker makes it so simple. You actually just put the amount of tea leaves you need in there along with the hot water. Let it seep for the amount of time it needs to seep. And then you actually just place it over the mouth of your coffee mug. And it fits most coffee mugs. It doesn't fit all of them, but it does fit the Glitzy Glam one, as you can see. And the suction of it will actually make all of the water pour out and it will um, catch all of your tea leaves in the bottom in the sifter or the little, whatever that's called, this, the, uh, the catcher, I don't know. And you'll just get a perfect cup of tea. And you can actually use the tea leaves more than once. So you can leave them in the bottom of your tea and make a second glass right away if you want with the same tea leaves. Just add more water, let it sit for five minutes or however long it has to seep, and then you put it on your coffee mug. And it makes really amazing tea. And I have a whole separate gift guide video on Glitzy Glam items that I'll link below in the information box. This would be such a great gift for a tea lover. Coming from someone who loves teas, I would love to get this. It's called the Into Teas Collection from Tiavana. It's a big box. It would be really pretty wrapped. It's like a substantial gift. And inside it comes with two Tiavana tea tumblers, which are stainless steel tea tumblers, including removable tea baskets. So you can make tea on the go with loose leaves because it's not the easiest thing. You can't really do it with like a normal tumbler. So it comes with two of those and then it comes with four premium loose teas, each in its own little tin. So normally when you buy Tiavana tea, it doesn't come in a tin. So, and you can't leave it um, out in the air. You have to put it in your own, like, if you watch my Tiavana video, I explain it. But you have to put it in an airtight container so it doesn't like dry out and lose its flavor. So it comes with four, including my all-time favorite one, which is the um, Samurai Chai Mate. And then it comes with Golden Needle Black Tea, Soothing Strawberry Oolong, and Raspberry Mint Herbal Blend. So the little um, teas come in containers that look like this, which is really cute. They're like little collectible tins. And it has all the different types of teas and the amount you need and the temperature to seep it at and stuff on the back. So it's like a little like handy tend to have. For the artsy person on your list, I would suggest something that has recently become my favorite hobby, which is film photography. This is the little Diana Lamography camera and it's actually not very expensive at all, so it'd make for a great gift. If you know someone who's already into film photography or Lamography, or if you know someone who's just artsy and kind of into that kind of stuff, it would make for a fun thing for them to play with. This is the Diana Plus Dreamer camera. I got this at Urban Outfitters. If you go to Lamography.com, they have lots of different color combinations. So if you're shopping for a boy, you don't have to get them like a mint green one. I just loved this one. I thought it was the prettiest color one that I saw. It also comes with a lens cap. And if you go to the Lamography website, most of them actually come with a flash and they're called the Diana F Pluses. This one's just the Diana Plus. F is for flash, didn't come with a flash. Um, but I think it was like maybe 
50 or $60. So for a gift, that's a pretty good price, especially if you're shopping for someone where you can kind of get them a substantial gift. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but at the same time, if you think about my channel, normally I'm talking about makeup products. This is the cost of like one NARS multiple or something, you know? So if you keep it in perspective, it's actually not that expensive for a camera. This camera takes 120 millimeter film. So if you were thinking about getting someone something like this, I definitely would get them some film as well because 120 millimeter film is not the easiest thing to find. You're not gonna find it in like every drugstore. So this is the Lomography Color Negative 120 film in 100 ISO. I suggest getting 400 for a beginner. I'm a beginner and I got some 100 just to play with, but 400 is like the basic, like back when we were little, when I was little, if you're my age, when we all kind of had regular cameras, we all used 35 millimeter 400 ISO film. That's like the normal film that everyone's seen in the little canisters. The 120 is like longer and skinnier. It's probably a film you've never seen before. I never had before I started um, playing with film photography. But if you were to get someone a camera like this, I would get them some film as well. And also they have some really cool expired film on Lomography.com too, which I think would be so cool. It's like film that's past its expiration date, so you wouldn't really see it in stores because it's not good anymore. Like it has like light problems, it might blur your pictures, like it might have different chemical things to it. You can create really cool pictures with it, so a lot of people like me are interested in buying it because of the imperfections of the film. So it's just kind of a cool idea if you have an artsy person on your list to buy them something like this. And then I have a bunch of beauty suggestions as well, of course, because it's a beauty channel. So I have two perfume gift suggestions because I think perfume is one of my favorite gifts to receive. I always get a perfume on my birthday and I always love it. So I have two sample sampler sets to show you guys. The first one you guys are probably familiar with because it's been in my last two gift guide videos, but this one's a little bit different. It's the Sephora Favorites fragrance sampler for her. They also have one for guys if you're shopping for guys. But this one's different than the ones in my last two gift guide videos because those were just like the little purse size samples that you get a lot of times as freebies at makeup counters, like the little tiny ones. This is actually the collector's edition, so it's miniature versions of the perfume bottles. On top of getting the 10 perfumes that you get to keep, you also get a gift certificate in here to go to Sephora and pick one of these in full size. So you're giving them the gift of the 10 miniature perfumes, plus they get a coupon to go into a Sephora and get one of these in full size as well. They still get to keep the little ones. So they're really getting like 11 perfumes, which is a ton. And you're bound to find one that you want in full size because they have some amazing perfumes in here. Another perfume set that I have never had in a gift guide, but I thought I actually wanted this for myself, but I think I might give it away as a gift, but I think this is like really great. Victoria's Secret also has a perfume sampler. This one doesn't come with a um, gift certificate coupon for a full size, but it's also a lot cheaper. It's $40 instead of 75. It looks like this, and it's again, little bottles of their fragrances and little versions of what the fragrances look like. And I think this is a great way to give someone lots of different fragrances for the same price that you would pay to give them one big size perfume. Because like I said, they're not gonna go through these perfumes very quickly. Like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever gone through an entire perfume bottle in my life. Well, maybe once. I did for Hollister August way back when I was like in middle school and I only had one perfume. No wonder. Another thing that's been in my gift guide before, but I just think it's a great gift idea. Year after year, I always get this for at least one person and I already know who's getting it this year. This is the Sephora Favorites Lash Dash and I love this. Any mascara junkie or beauty lover would love this. It comes with 10 of Sephora's most sought after mascaras and two of them are full size. The rest are like deluxe sizes, but they're pretty good sizes. They last for a while, plus a makeup remover. I guess you get the Clinique take the day off makeup remover. This is like the price of two mascaras and you get two full size plus a bunch of deluxe samples plus the eye makeup remover. So pretty cool. Two more things. One is something you could get anyone, but especially if you're buying something for a guy, and you wanna get him something for his face, but you don't wanna get him makeup, but you wanna get him something that's just gonna make his face look better. You get this for a girl as well. I just think it would especially kind of work for a guy. The Benefit Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores is amazing. So this is actually like a silky lightweight cream that you put over your face. And it gives you like pore coverage and it kind of like smooths out your skin but it also just kind of like airbrushes your skin. So it's a really light nude color that actually blends away to not look like you're wearing any makeup. It doesn't give you any color coverage. It's not like a tint of moisturizer. 
and it has a really silky smooth finish. When you gave this to a guy, make sure you tell him it's not makeup. So you don't want to freak him out. Just feel like it's this skincare thing. You put it on your face after you wash your face and it just kind of like airbrushes your skin. It's for men. You can tell them that it's not, but you can totally tell any guy you're giving this to that it is because it's just a good gift idea for both a girl and a guy. And then the last thing I saw last minute when I was at Sephora, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Travel Size Set of 5. These are amazing liners. I love them. Um, this is the Naked 5 set, and it has zero, which is the black that I like absolutely adore. It also comes with Demolition, Bourbon, Underground, and Stray Dog. So it's a lot of like nude colors. You can see they're all slightly different, but it's so pretty. So someone who wears a lot of like blacks and browns on their eyes, which is like any girl, um, this is just a really good liner set. So it's a good little travel size, so you can try lots of different colors without buying them the full size products, which is obviously more expensive. So that was everything for my gift guide video from artsy people, bookworms, pampering people, fashionistas, and beauty girls. I had a little bit more fun with this gift guide because I kind of broke it up into categories and I thought to myself like, if I was buying for this type of person, what would I get in this type of person? So instead of just doing like all beauty items, which I normally do, but I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love gift guide videos. Like I'm obsessed with watching them this time of year. So if you want a video response, your gift guides below. I'd love to watch them and I'll see you guys later. Bye.